So this is my favorite deck builder. I love this game. I love, 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 love this one. If you like deck builders and roguelikes like this, this is out of the out of the world. That's adding to the stress of the week, so yay me. It's adding to the stress, that's not fun. Why are you so sure that I'll go to the northern gate and won't turn away from the path? There's just Story time. nowhere left for you to go. Story time. Well, I could go to the four winds. I have no wife or children. I don't have any family or friends left. My parents are already dead, and I hardly knew them. My only friend was Sigismund. I wanted to meet him, ask him a few questions about the poisoned wine. Did you know that? Is that the reason for your confidence? One of the reasons. Everything matters. Every little thing. There's no one main reason. Hmm. It's too difficult for me. But you're right about one thing. I have nowhere else to go. Okay. Let's do... Let's unlock some of the other events right now. So as you get event, as you unlock events on these, you can literally unlock events on the way down. Let's do. What? To get to the heartlands, you need to go over a pass, but there's a golem on the trail. The dwarves set it up so that the bandits couldn't return. Say the password. What? Will you actually let me through if I say the password? Communication not permitted. Say the password. Oh, well, all right. Then I better be going. No option to leave. Combat mode initiated. That's what I thought. Did you feel like dying at the very beginning of your journey? Oh, shut up. Is it really going to be a strong one? Oh, shut up. Really? He yeah, he's literally going to kill me. Two minutes. Cool. Okay, so don't go there. We need a password for that one. Go here. It's a boar. You're attacking me for 12. I have five armor, which means that at the end of this turn, I'll get five armor. So if I do this, it gives me eight armor. Or sorry, it gives me eight shield. It means that I will have 13. I'll be good. Uh-oh. Increases strength. Uh-oh. When losing HP, gaining strength. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Not a chance. Not a chance. If enemy intent is to attack, gain two strength, burn, gain one energy. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so do I go down this path or do I go on this path? Let's see. I think I, it doesn't matter because both leads to where I want to go. A drunken dwarf that had apparently decided to pick a fight with some elves. I am to encounter him on the way to the elven outpost. After rudely telling me off, he proceeds to invite me to follow him to pay a visit to some of those haughty elves. I realize that no matter what I decide, drunken dwarves demand delicate diplomacy. No sweat, let's go. What's up, Yugi? I decided to human him and see what would happen, so we went to pay a visit to the elves. And so you act shocked with the elves, call you people traitors. Good, good. Just playing some, uh, knock on the coffin lid. Wait, deals damage to an ally? Oh, he's, tr he's belligerent.
I rip off your ears and wear them. All right, let's see if we can actually beat these guys, shall we? I thought it was plus two. I'm used to my other game where it, it's actually a plus two. Wind spirits let your arrows fly true. Uh oh. All right, well, let's see if we can't get this guy dead here. Do you ever attack? No, you just put shields on. Gotcha. Stay alive. Wait, how? Did I show you the my new puppy yet? No. I like puppies. Oh, he had an evasion. That's why I'm like, how did he miss the first one? He has a double evade. Ow, you mother fluffer. What just burned? I gotta get his evasion down. That's you, Yugi. <gasps> Puppy. You can never be sure with Discord these days. Puppy's so cute. Hi, Bailey. Very cute, sir. Very cute. Burn two random cards. Return one burn card of your choice to your hand. Inflict three weakness and three exposed to all enemies. Game one exposed to armor. Let's go with this. Ooh. Elven boots. Game one evasion. Game two ward. There's no block at the end of the turn. Game one evasion. But I have block. When you're playing two attacks in a row, gain two strength. When playing a skill, the strength bonus is removed. She's a toy Australian Shepherd mixed with a Corgi. That's freaking adorable. I'm going to take the helmet. I'm going to take the Elven Ale. Um, this way for a chest. And then I can get another chest. The forest is big, but the trail is narrow. That's poetic. Very poetic, sir. Oh, look at the thing. All right, Friday, talk to you. It's an absolute crackhead. If she's a puppy, I would expect. <laughs> deal nine damage if the enemy is exposed. Deal same damage again once. Ooh. Robbers have never before dared to enter the Elven forests. They've come down from the north, from the heathlands, which have been recently ravaged by the war. It's a refuge of outcasts and fugitives from the Empire, but Ingvar thought they were decent, freedom-loving. Starvation and devastation okay, well. may force even decent people to become bandits and marauders. I get why corgis are so trendy right now, too cute. Hey, what's up, Rosewood? How have you been? Good to see your face. Sorry that I haven't been on lately. But I should be back. I should be back normal, guys. So this should be... We're going back to our normal schedule, by the way. We're going back to Wednesday through Sunday. We're just doing Wednesday through Sunday from now on. I just... I tried doing the Sunday off thing. And I did it for the... Gain two strength and one evasion. Ooh. As opposed to... The double blow? What does this provide me with, though? What attack? Yes. Um, I tried the Sunday Monday thing. It just doesn't feel right. I keep forgetting that I'm off on 
Sundays, or I, mean, I keep, keep forgetting that I'm off on Tuesdays, so I'm just like, you know what? Let's just do, let's just go back to where Mondays and Tuesdays are our nights off. Just make it easy. Monday and Tuesdays, nights off, and then Wednesday through Sunday, we'll be doing, ooh, we'll do this one. On oh, Mondays and Tuesdays, or uh, sorry, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, we'll be doing our normal schedule of 9 p.m. Eastern time. Vacation, I think, was vacation great? All right, we're going for a chest here. Gold, and then we get an item. Ooh, a lance. At the start of the turn, draw two jabs. I actually might go for the lance. Good, wife's great. How's everything for you, Star? Oh. Oh. He missed. I think he missed. By accident, I interrupted an elven sharpshooter's training session. My sudden appearance distracted him, and he missed the bullseye. The miss, the miss hit seemed to frustrate him. To prove his skill, he decided to use me as his target, and this time he wasn't going to miss hit off the mark. Yeah, she's my baby girl. I love the pieces. I bet Pacific Northwest just gorgeous. Went went to go back already. I bet. I bet Pacific Northwest Northwest looks super cool. I was in the hospital, but I'm home now. Are you okay? What happened in the hospital? Why? Are you, are you taunted? If I gain... If I do this and this... It actually gets me to 15 with the armor. Are you a marauder or a spy? It makes no difference. I hate when they increase the, the piercing damage. I love this already. This is freaking awesome. He's dead. Yeah, I had a hernia surgery. I've been home since last Thursday. Still recovering. Oh man, I I I'm glad that the surgery. It seems like the surgery went well, but I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Okay, what do I do here? Seventy health. What's breach? Oh. As long as I get my two guards up, I think I'm okay. So he's gonna evade one. So that's an evasion. I mean, he's gonna hit me no matter what here. So it's what it is what it is. Four years untreated. I'm glad it happened. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm glad it, I'm glad it happened, and you're okay now. Kill a sniper before the fifth turn. Nice. Gain two armor, deal ten damage. Ooh. Burn. A random card in hand costs zero until the end of the of the battle. Let's do that. I don't really have armor yet. Increase max HP by ten when losing HP and gain one strength to five block. Draw one from the draw pile and discard a random card each time a card is burned. At the start of the battle, inflict four weakness on all enemies. Let's go with the armor of vengeance. Yeah, Hernia has nothing to play with. Practice target. Training now improves two cards. Oh. You working on your Lucian gameplay? Oh, that means you and King are going to be fighting for Lucian. Oh, shit. Look at this group. You're taunted, right? Yeah, you're taunted. Hmm. 
Did you decide to have a rest? Oh, everyone just got really strong. Shit. The shock was finding out the hernia ended up being diabetic too, so that was a shock. Yeah. I have other picks, but I'm rank grinding. I don't blame you there. I did a really... Wait, what did I just hit? Why did I just hit myself? Oh, you're barbed every single time I attack you. Okay. Um, I've been doing really well with... Um, with Mundo. If I do this and this, it actually helps me. Jace mid. Jace is coming back and I hate that. I hate that Jace is back. I hate Jace. Steals the rarest attack from the draw pile? I hate you. That's such a good attack, too. NA players suck at Jace. It's not the NA players I'm worried about. It's the Smurfs and high <laughs> in high elos that I'm worried about. Okay, this is this is my master plan. Get a bunch of zeros and just be able to just pop off. That's my plan. If this works right, then we're good. Which is I. Return a burn card of your choice to hand. Is that something I have to equip? No, that's... Okay, that's just a potion. Okay. I like this jab. Oh, it's two-handed, so I don't get a, I don't get this. Okay. Ooh, we get to use our thing where we get to train two cards, not just one. Because of the target dummy. So now I get to improve two cards. I like chaos. If that became a one, that'd be worth it. All right, we gotta fight the boss now. At the end of the journey, the Arc Druid of Elves was waiting for me. In my previous life, I would have been glad to meet him, but not now. I just could not get used to the idea that the Elves were now our enemies. This is gonna be a tough, this is gonna be a tough battle. You'll die without suffering. You'll flee, you'll flee. You, when injured, changes intent. Okay. He's gonna hit me and do something and add a card. F left in hand, gain miss. Yes, yeah, let's give her that. This is actually really good here. Because now I get to play this hardcore. Upon an ally's death, wait. 
gains strength and restores health. Oh, you have barb. I hate when they have barb. Because I have to adapt. I do this. Three damage. Holy bear, Batman. Well, I just kind of got to let my strength get up there some. Fourteen, twenty. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Sure. <laughs> that's an evil surprise. Yeah, that that's a that's kind of a surprise there. He saw his barbed though. Got him. Spirit of nature, I call on your protection. You got six evasion. Shut up. What's adaptive? It means when I upgrade them, when I upgrade them, they have special options. So it's not just like you can only upgrade one way. Like if I upgraded the growing threat, it's only one way of upgrading, you know? I'll take this because I'm about to do a lot of damage. So. Or not a lot of damage, I say. I'm going to try and get rid of as much evasion as possible here. Expose on their hero and deal 30 damage. Every time block is gained from cards, deal 4 HP. Deal damage equal to block and lose all block. And Cobalt, Cobalt Core. Cobalt Core is so freaking good. Guess I go tip for tat. Ooh. A looted Axe. When dealing damage, additionally inflict one bleeding. Gain three agility when dealing damage to HP and inflict four breach. Gain 20 HP when drawing a status card, re restore 10 HP and gain one evasion. Huh. I mean, I'm still going, I'm always going to take one no matter what. What does the crystal do? Upon playing the will of the forest spirits, restore 20 HP to the hero and allies. Oh shit. It's a card that gets added and you either get barb, strength, or balm for each card in hand. I really like my practice though. 
Upon playing the will of the four spirits, restore 20 health to the hero and allies. You don't play auto towers no more? Yeah, I do. I do. I usually start with auto towers. I didn't play it tonight, but I will. I will probably play it tomorrow to start. If HP if HP is greater than 80% of the start of the turn, gain one fury. I like the practice tower because of upgrading. Yeah, I upload I left uh, upload almost every single day. For auto towers. What should I do? Demoralize five and five? Like that? Can you come in Where are you, Lily? Yeah. And he's been fed already. So. Um, what should I do? Four armor here? I can do this. And then I get Goblin Bomb. I got from the frontier to swamps without incident. It was a challenging road, but at least no one tried to kill me. As soon as I entered the rotten bog, the attempts on my life resumed. This is another fun one here. Let's see what we got. Events all around I haven't visited. I haven't visited this area yet, so I could go here with the treasure chest. I gotta visit a shop somewhere. That's a relic. I gotta try and get a shop on my list here. I could go here. That's actually not a bad plan. Let's go here and go through there. Just because the shop's gonna give me a chance to be able to sell some of this extra stuff. <laughs> guy in the barrel. <laughs> when losing HP, there's a chance to add a status that, uh, card to the draw pile. If no HP is lost, gains one. Fortress. Blocks damage taken from attacks less than nine and gains strength? Shut up. This is where life gets very hard. Yeah, this is where stuff gets really hard. I've been watching because of Tower. Sorry about my English. I'm Portuguese. That's fine. I appreciate that you're watching me because uh, of it. I hope that I can. I hope that I can provide you with other content too beyond um, just towers. Thank you, Guillermo. Appreciate it. Did I say Guillermo? I don't know how properly. I don't want to mispronounce your name. Apologies if I'm doing that. There we go. Appreciate the follow, brother. When drawing a curse or status, draw one. Burn. Deal 25 damage. Can only be used on enemies with less than... Ooh. Who did that one? The it's undead me geek. roam the swamps. The undead rodent roam they the swamps. They prey upon outsiders, yet for some reason, they leave the denizens of the swamplands in peace. The undead of the Rotten Bog are not fully dead. Yes, they're very old, even ancient, but still they are living beings. I'm not an expert on the undead. Zombies are zombies. Yeah. Right. But strictly speaking, they are alive. Although it's a stretch to call their existence a life. They were brought to this state by the cult's ritual drink, Ichor of Might. Okay. Alright, so let's go to the vent. Ooh, what the hell is that thing? I think I met a reduced copy of a divine mite. Its swollen, throbbing belly resembled a festering tumor on a decaying corpse, ready to rupture and blow into fountains of fetid goo. The mite, shuffling its disguffled, disgusting legs, dragged its precious tumor along the ground towards me. Ooh. Oh, it's an elite battle, too. Oh, God, look at the thing. 
It has floating skulls in it and everything. Any specialties? No, it just looks like it's a... Oh, God, look at the background. I love the backgrounds. Look. The backgrounds are so well done. So why'd I do that? Well, this way, I can destroy that. Who do you say you met? Oh, it's not important anymore. There we go. This way I can do it. I know I use two potions. You ever play DayZ or thinking about it? I've never played DayZ, but I'm not against playing DayZ. I just never got around to it. Did it just zero? Oh, no. There we go. Did it just zero the guard? Daisy always looked like it was a lot of fun, actually. Two C. So th this is just a hard hitter, no matter what I do here. Yeah, he's just a hard hitter. He's gonna hit me for twelve. Twelve is not horrible. I'll say twelve. I've got balm, which restores one HP per stack. I got two stacks of that. Um, the big thing I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lose all my armor, I think. And I have a health potion at the top. Oh, he blighted me. I know what that does. Oh, increased by one. Ooh, the blight. You should try it. It's the best for meeting a lot of new people and it's very fun. I will, honestly. For every Okay, gain three disarm for, for three turns. Gain five HP, two armor, and burn two status cards at the start of the turn. But I gain three disarm. This one's better than this one because this gains the strength and agility. This is a long-lasting one, but this one, it gains the one and it draws one as well. I don't have boots yet, right? See you, Gui. Increase master HP by 20, gain 5 armor, 3 ward. Where am I at right now? What's my armor at? Hmm. I kinda like that armor, actually. What's the sharp dagger do? Gain either one evasion or four bleeding. No, I'm good. Let's get the boots. What's the rotten might do? Upon taking health damage, deal 10 damage to the attacker and restore five health. That's actually really good. Ooh, and it gets upgrade too. Let's do it. That just became so much better. And I get this too, the tirelessness. That's the best potion around. Gotta go shop. Has to go to shop. The bog dwellers live in poverty, but the range of goods in the shops is quite decent. Oh God, he's a fish guy. The filed item at the start of the battle, you gain one armor for every curse in the deck. Crimson Spear. The start of the turn, gain one bomb for every bleeding enemy on the battlefield. Oh, wow. So that's a really good bleeding. Let's see, he has a bunch of crimson item. Immune for the first four turns, block cannot be gained. That's not horrible. That could be a glass. A glass build there. 
I really like the fluted axe. Unfortunately, they don't really have anything for me here. We can buy some potions. Buy some more potions and... I'll buy this because I know that's going to happen, but they don't really have anything besides me. I can remove card too for 150 bucks. Do I want to remove any cards? I don't think so. I like my deck. Not have any curses or anything, so no point. Event. I went to a well to get some water, and the stench coming from it was so foul that I changed my mind. Suddenly, a shout came up from the well. Help me get out of here, I shuddered. Or help me get out of here. I shuddered. The voice was unexpected, distorted, and scary. Look into the well. It's a ghost or something, isn't it? I looked into the well to see the unfortunate prisoner and face something horrible. Let me go. Unlike swamp zombies, this thing is really undead. Oh great. All damage taken reduced to one. Fun. Mark of Death. Reduced by one at the end of the turn when the counter reaches zero kills the mark bearer. Shit. That's a problem. Hmm. So I have to be able to remove that, which I don't think I can. Oh, there you go. Now it's normal. You're gonna run away? Wait. Hell no, wait. We run away. Think you're doing? Free from pain. If a character is exposed, gain 10 block. Gain 10 block the next time, the next time HP is lost. Ooh, cleansing blow. Fuck yeah. Get rid of a status card? Heck yeah. <laughs> Opening chest, I might have to think about the fact that I'm robbing somebody. I got a lot of gold. I really like this poisonous armor. I'm gonna take it. It's barbed, so every single time they strike me, they get damage back to them. The Rotten Bog is inhabited not only by the cultists, but also by other motley crowd hiding from prying eyes in the swampy wilderness. This time I met a servant of death who'd somehow get a hold of a rare artifact, a crimson spear. He wanted to awaken its hidden power and offered me the right to participate. Wait, wait, I wasn't done yet. I wonder what he's doing in the Rotten Bog. Should I have asked? Uh, no, it's useless. Let's check it out. My doubts were confirmed. I had to cut myself with a magic spear and let it drink my blood. The more blood it spilled, the higher the chances were awakening the hidden powers of the artifact. It's difficult to comment on this, but let's say I became wary. The good news is, however, was also there. In case of success, the spear would become mine by right of spilled blood. The ritual got a little out of hand. I didn't know for sure. If the power of the spear had awaked or not, but I took it with me just in case. I stabbed the servant. 
<laughs> Desecrated Bloody Spear. At the start of the turn, gain two strength and two bomb for each enemy of bleeding. Oh, God. What's up, beer? This is a great... This is one of the best... This is one of the best deck builders out there. Sad part is that actually affects me in my inventory, so... After three landed blows, explodes and deals damage to everyone on the battlefield. Every hit increases the damage from explosion. Oh, shit. Well. Um... I really don't want to make him blow up. <laughs> don't spare consumable. You'll get more. The music in this is is like fire. I'm using those because I don't want to lose a lot of HP before the boss. Okay, I can't execute because he's not below 50% HP. Otherwise, I could do that. Chop your bones. If left in hand gains one shattered, oh god. I guess I can get rid of those. I hate these guys because they spread plague. And it's so annoying. Okay. Oh, I should have applied that first, actually. I'd recommend an elixir of purification. Kill him. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Burn. Draw a random attack card. It costs zero for this turn. At the start of the turn, draw one. It costs zero for this turn. Let's go finish your move again. Which is I'll take. That's not even the boss. The boss is the big problem. The boss is going to be the big one. I better get this ready to go because he's probably going to drop a ton of statuses on me. I was attacked by a creature almost indescribable. I don't know who or what it was, whether it was connected to the cult or to the undead. I don't know if it's goals and spotos. All I know is that it was terrible. I've never seen anything more terrifying in my life. It really is. It's like a pig with a... It's just a mix. It's got a sword in its back. The creature design in this game is out of its way. Out, out of, out of completely ridiculousness. See, that's the thing. When you get to the... When you get to the bosses... Dude, they just like... They're overwhelming. They're like almost overwhelming. It's crazy how strong this guy is. My three burn cards. I'm actually going to return that ultimatum... <laughs> To my hand. There we go. <laughs> it's 
zombie where where dog hog blog sog dog chog dog mess I don't know what it is. I have a potion for health, so let's go cleansing blow. Let's go piercing strike. And then let's hit it with a finishing move. Almost 100 damage its first strike, its first round. I'll take it. Now it's going to do 36 damage to me. Ow. And he dropped Plague on me too. Awesome. He's not going to attack right now. So I'm going to do get rid of this. This guy's just going to drop a ton of Plague on me and I'm just going to have to like, manage it. Gain strength. We need armor for obvious reasons. Maybe 35 is going to add a status of card to my deck. Love it. Oh, that burnt the right one. Thank God. Alright, we're halfway there. Shit. Right and unplayable. The start of the turn, next turn, draw three card, un, uh, draw three less cards. You suck. I wanted to do the finishing move, but the problem is, I just had to get rid of that. That was a ridiculous amount of damage you just did to me. I'm gonna put this on you right now. Fifty HP left. Let's go. I've got its blight higher, higher, so it's taking a ton of damage. That's the big thing about the game is a lot of the characters or a lot of these creatures have gimmicks in a sense. So you got to find out like what's going to defeat them. That's what I love about it. Playing lunges increases damage by six for the first lunge played in the next turn. At the start of turn, gain one strength. Swap the effects of strength and agility. Playing lunges increases damage by six for the first lunge played in the next turn. Oh, so if I lunge now, I get it's going to increase six for the next turn. Okay. I like to start a turn, gain one strength. Champion sword. Gain five strength and five agility. Deal damage equal to 30% of the target's current HP. Damn. Deal six damage and gain one evasion. I still like my jab because I get double jab. Amulet of resistance. Gain one energy. Gain five armor. Gain one energy at the start of the battle. Inflict three exposed on all enemies. That's not bad either. I don't have an amulet either or, so. Exposed is so nice. Takes 50% more damage. Let's take it. Uh, this is what added strength seven strength for one turn 30 block or two evasion Let's go to evasion because you, you can't avoid some monster 
monster things. Upon taking health damage, deal 10 damage to attacker and restore 5 health. This is probably why I stayed alive so well. Taking damage reduced by 50%. Yeah, but I get these. I'll keep this. And I get to upgrade something. Ooh, I get to upgrade a battle lust. When I left the swamps behind me, I could have rest at last. Damp and musty air in that place urged me to get out of there as soon as possible. I knew what was ahead of me was worse, but I was still relieved. Alright, so now I have to choose my next one. This is the altar. Do I have any problems with... I have a lot of money. God, I have a lot of money. Do I have any... Cur oh, God. they've stuck a shit ton of curses in my deck. That shithole stuck a shit ton of curses inside my deck. As you see. All because that stupid plague dude. Okay, I probably gotta go alter. That's the thing in this game. The events are just as crazy as everything else. The Brother of Fire have already placed their idols all over the Northern Gate. The Primordial Fire Spirits are notable for their short temper and tolerance, but all in all, they are no worse than the others. There's nothing wrong with worshiping them. Um, also, there's like the events. When you do the events, some of the events also... Some of the events will... Um, So sorry, some of the events will um, will uh, like work with other events, I want to say. That's what I'm trying to figure out. They'll work with other events. So what you'll do is you'll be like, oh, I just did an event in the third level and now I died and I have to go back to the first level. And that first level now I have like the password to get through this area, you know? So it's it's a continuing story. It's a, it's a narrative, which I love. Fire weapon, fire explosion... Fire Revenge or Fiery Aura. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fire Aura. I wanted so badly to be home, but the more I saw of what was happening around me in the world, the more I realized that nothing good would be waiting for me there. Had you hoped to see the Northern Gate as it was before your death? At first, yes, but those hopes quickly collapsed. And the quicker, the better. I wouldn't want the shock from what will come to be too strong. You sound somewhat ominous. What else don't I know? Don't worry. Bit by bit, almost everything will be revealed oh, to you. You have no idea what's coming. <laughs> you have. I know what's coming. Because I've been there. You have no idea what's coming. I approached an unfamiliar idol at the foot of which a boy was kneeling. Curiosity prompted me to approach the child. The boy's words made me uneasy. He prayed to the inquilins to take his soul and possess his body. Make an offering to the idol. <gasps> you lost ninety nine health. If you perceive if you perceive a demonic idol like any other, you can make the offering to it and receive a gift. Nothing personal. I can't believe that. Holy crap! I lost all my HP. Hard upgrade. Did it just upgrade everything? It just upgraded my whole deck. Kill the kid. <laughs> no, don't kill the kid. In a video game. Thanks for the follow, Aegis. How you doing today? Aegis stolen. I like that name. I do have balm. Vampire boots. When dealing health damage, restore 2 HP if the target has less than half health. Do you go chop the small child? That's a little more appropriate. What, uh, what's your new job doing? Yo, do you know what is that bar that shows up at the top after you do some... It's your... Um, it's your... It's your... Karma bar, basically. Put it that way. So, the the bar affects the ending. Ooh, those match. Oh, my outfit looks so good.
Yeah, so that affects... So the good... I don't know how it affects everything yet. I have to learn myself. Also, I'm recovering 30% of my HP. There we go. Yeah, I'm learning myself. Um, this 1.0 drop is brand new to me. At the entrance of the palace, I was greeted by the gatekeeper. Looking little like a man, I was started to hear a human voice. In true demonic form, he demanded 500 coins to buy my way in. Little did he care for his service to his master. Sometimes demons and man are not the same, not different. I'm paying. See how it's like evils going one way and stuff like that? Thank you, baby. The gatekeeper let me in, chuckling as he thanked me. He added that going back would cost me 2,000 gold. That's right, I'm not planning on leaving. I was afraid that the chaos that reigned all around me hadn't left the northern gate untouched. But still, I hoped everything was fine there. I'm sorry I hadn't warned you. Did you want to give me a surprise? I sighed with relief when I saw from afar that the castle of the northern gate was intact. But after that, instead of familiar houses and people, I kept meeting ashes and corpses. A battery shop or a bank? That's awesome, dude. Banks are boring, but good. Happened. I just prayed to the gods that Sigismund would be safe and sound and hurried on towards the castle. Yeah, banks are... Oh, you could probably entrance. You could probably sneak in the side entrance. That's why... Like, this is the gatekeeper. That's the event for the gatekeeper. You probably could sneak in if you go on the right side or something. That's what's so cool about this. Every path you take is a different story. So everything affects the game along the way. And I love that. Um, here's a camp. And then a story, then a camp. I think I go camp, story, camp. Because I lost all the HP. I feel like I caught a cold. I started to get chills. Willow Bark, he helped me. I heard that I released fever. Yeah, it's a proven army remedy. Without such knowledge, you perish on a march. I was working at a bank for three years and I had a major love-hate relationship for it. I was working at Wells Fargo. Ugh. Wells Fargo screwed me hardcore. The Royal Forge wasn't empty. A demonic blacksmith has settled at, in it. I was taken aback when I recognized him as an old court blacksmith. Although there is a little left of his old look so. However, he seemed happy to meet me and he offered me his services. Yes. Reforge equipment? How about craft something special? Yeah, see how the demonic side's taken over? The blacksmith can make something special for me if I bring him a legendary item. To forge something special, materials must be special too. Take, for example, a golem core. I can craft your armor from it like nothing I've forged before. In that armor, you will completely, you'll be completely invincible. But not forever, only until the core is discharged. See what I mean? See what I mean there? What does reforge equipment do? I know where to find the golem, but I don't know how to kill it. Then find out that out. We're close to the solution. See what I love? I love that now that I know... I know where the golem is. He's in the beginning. You found a golem armor once? Well, you gotta go look for a golem core, I think. Reforge equipment. Let's reforge the boots. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Berserker Axe is really good. Rubber, let's see here. Gain 10 gold upon dealing health damage with an attack once per turn. That's cool. I'm going to take it just to have it. Yeah, it's a different item. There's so much to this game. Yeah, there's like so much to this game. It's a ridiculous amount of awesomeness. Oh, I can upgrade even more. I've got it upgraded my whole deck. Effective guard. Gain nine block. Increase block by guard from guards by one. And there's also, remember, there's also two other characters that you could play. Now, I know what's going to happen here, because I played through it before. This is all messed up here. I entered the throne room and stared at Sig Sigis uh, Sigismund, unable to recognize my old friend in him. I didn't even notice the demonic abomination that was standing next to him by the throne. I opened my mouth to say something, but couldn't utter a word. 
Dead man. What kind of power raised you from the grave? What about Ingvar? Has he not risen from the dead? It's too late. What's going on? What does this all mean, Sigismund? We got so many questions for each other. Sit down, Percival. Let's have a talk like old friends. I feel I felt apprehensive if I opened the doors to the hall, but everything turned out to be blah blah blah. I won't I even I won't even ask you what the beast next to you is. Why not? Please meet my new bodyguard. I gave Bajorn to Ingvar, so I need some replacement. By the way, where's Bajorn? How does he feel? I hope we'd stop this chaos together, but now I see that I'll have to do it on my own. And the first thing is I must kill you. You were gifted a second life and you've decided to squander it in such a mediocre way? You won't be resurrected this time. Your story is coming to an end. Holy shit, he hits hard. Let's <laughs> gain two evasion right at the bat so I don't get ah, the sweet taste of an elixir. So I get all that stuff out. There we go. This is the keeper of hatred and when there is no block, kills an ally. Gaining HP and strength. Oh. At the end of the turn, gain strength if HP is less than that of the enemy. <laughs> Burning? Why is he burning? Nah, 25 is fine. 25 is whatever. I'm just tempting to take this battle lust because I get two strength every, you know, the start of the turn, gain two strength. I'm tempted to take it. It's either do the effective guard, lunge, and cleansing blow, or take the battle lust. Fire aura, that's right. I forgot I had that. Ugh. Let's see here three, five, six, seven. I can only get to six. Let's gain 10 block. Draw one card. Actually, that was the only one I didn't need to do, actually. I'm going to do this one for the blocks. I'm going to gain two. So I can get rid of the infection. Uh, no, I don't have to get rid of the infection. It's just going to do that. Looks like somebody is about to get hurt. Yeah, I totally forgot I had the fire aura. That's awesome. Blind Rage, double damage and... Wait, doubles damage and the cost of attacks at the end of the turn? Ooh. I mean, double zero is zero, so that's fine. He's gonna absorb her now. That's how he died. One vermin less. Oh shit, what the hell?
I can't gain any shattered. Uh. Wait. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me, right? That's what I'm saying. And he's got a bomb too. That's a problem. If it goes on like this, you won't get anywhere. Do you recognize me, my friend? This is your true face. You're gaining strength. Gotcha. Really? The infection has to show up at the last second? How many status effects? That's the big thing is like, the end of the game is so many status effects and so annoying. It's all about like status effects at the end. His 15 bomb is so annoying. Growing threat, growing threat. Jab, jab, piercing, armor. Gains shadows effect? Uh oh. Uh oh. May the At the start of the turn, steals maximum health and passes it to allies. On burning a card, deal 50 damage to Seer. Wait, really? Because I burn like I burn a shit ton of things. Okay, little fuck. So I was like, oh, let's do this. Hmm. Let's draw a card, see what it does. Yes, increase the guard of all my cards. I know I don't need guard right now, but I I wanted to use it so I can increase the, the block. Also, my vampire boots are now healing me because he's less than 50% HP. So he hit me for 70? I really use that, that right there. That was a good hit. I almost have full HP. That's impressive in my book. And I block almost one of the shots. That's why that's why I was joking about earlier. Remember what I was saying earlier? I was saying it's ridiculous because the game makes it seem like the, the battles are so ridiculously tough. And then you like start working the battle and you're like, holy shit. Defeat the source of fears and body in the sequence, guys. Nice. And then later on. But wait. There's more. I just waited for you. I can't say that I knew you'd show up. Rather, I had no idea what to do next. I guess I didn't even care. So this is the end of the story. Or maybe not. I tried not to think whether it was possible. 
I just went with the flow. But I did it. Sigismund is dead. Was that your plan? I killed him like you wanted. What's next? The volume you reset. Did what you wanted to do yourself, and I made that a reality. Don't thank me. Sigismund's dark fate the volume reset. eclipsed the future. By taking his piece off the board, you dispelled the darkness. Now I can see everything clearly, like on a bright day. Look. The elves will hold back the onslaught against the frontier, and it'll be easier for us to urge the parties to negotiate. The Northern Gate will once again become the guarantor of peace among peoples. You've managed to undermine the basis of the Grim Cult's survival. The Fire Brothers will easily complete what you have begun, and there will be nothing left of the rotten bog. Very Warhammer, right? When you killed Sigismund, you saved the Fire Brotherhood, and they won't forget it. You will unite the people disgruntled with the rule of the Inquilines with the Fire Army. And together, you'll put an end to the demon domination. That's beautiful. Now you're the hero of the Fire Brothers and the new Lord of the Northern Gate. It's a good start, hmm? One timely little death can mean so much for the fate of the whole world. But it seems our lovely conversation will be interrupted oh. soon. Oh, I'd be lying if I said it was a surprise. There she is. Yes, you pulled it off very well, Mortis. My congratulations to you. I have no idea how you did it, but don't get your hopes up. You killed Sigismund, but he was just my pawn. Now I'm going to kill yours. It's never easy. Nothing personal. I don't harbor any ill will towards that waste of sk uh, skiing that you are. But Mortis's plans must not come with fruitation. Now look what I have with me. He's getting ready for something, so should you. Oh, God. Um, yeah. This is a tough fight. This is a ridiculously tough fight. Mark a secret magic. HP is not lost. Playing three cards of the same type in a row burns a random card in hand. Yeah, it literally... Mortis is just using you, dimwit. And what would you like me to do? Because I can't do anything. I should have done armor there, actually. Why do you think you're on the right side? Um, let's go. I mean, there's nothing I can do here. I'm just, I'm literally just preparing. It doesn't matter though. I have to kill you anyway. Look at this. Kills the target. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter. You just die. That's it. You're dead. <laughs> and a be throwing could become a problem for me. The alliance with the might cult won't happen. The fragile truce with the orcs will crumble, so it won't matter at all who wins the battle of the frontier. You can have actually accomplished something, Mortis, but your plans aren't destined to come to fruition either. 
you wouldn't want to agree to a draw, would you? And there's your run. And I'm so close to level three too. Don't look at me look like that. I'm shocked myself. So how do I defeat her? You can't defend yourself with from a Lennis deadly touch, nor can you dodge it. You'll have to defeat death itself. How do I do that? I don't mind that, but how do I do that? Either become completely invincible or come back to life after she kills you. Let's think of options we have. Blacksmith? The demonic blacksmith promised to make invincibility armor if you bring him the golem's energy core. Sounds like a plan. We know where to find the golem. There are two problems. Killing the golem and delivering the core. You'll have to solve both. What about the rotten bog? The rotten bog is the might cult abode and the cultists have certain peculiarity. They don't die. I'm more than sure that you'll find a way to deflect deathly touch there. Crimson Stapes. Frankly, I wouldn't look for solutions in the Crimson Steps, but that doesn't mean there's not one there. And it restarts. <laughs> Last time you got far and saw enough to prepare yourself properly. Ooh. This would be good for next, uh, this will be good for next run. Yeah, let's be good for next run. Nice 